Wa a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Ati'ullah, Ati'ur Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. <coughs> and always a reminder from myself, ana abdukul ajisu, da'ifu, miskeen, uzar, mujahad. And but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence, we took a path in which to be nothing. And alhamdulillah in this holy month of Hajj that the realities of the pilgrimage, the reality of the world of light we talked and the reality of uh, Sayyidina Usman al-Qani Jami al-Qur'an al-Majeed in the immensity of the reality of ilm and knowledge. That in this path of ishq and muhabbat and the uloom and knowledges from the world of light, from malakut, for kulli shay, that the world of light is the authority for the world of form, means the world of light governs the world of form. The world of form is something that temporary and fleeing means it's in a constant state of destruction, zahukan, that it has nothing to stand in the presence of haqq and haqq is the world of light. And awliyaullah come from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad to remind us from the knowledges of the world of light that the holy companions and that Allah has a means for everything. So again to recap that the reality of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq as is a asa and a support. And if we understand the world of light it will answer many questions for us. It is the supreme authority, means the people of the world of form and external scholars they may spend all their life arguing back and forth and move their carpet in this direction, that direction, they will never find Allah like that. We describe simple. They, they love to debate wudu and what negates wudu and… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh How much water is wudu? A very simple question is that if you going to fight the enemy outside, what's your chance of success if the enemy already inside you? Zero. If you spend all your life thinking you're going to fight your enemy outside, wash the shaitan outside of you, but shaitan already inside of you. But what did you do to the, make the wudu inside? So means the knowledges of the world of light are far more supreme. And they answer all the understandings, misunderstandings of the world of form. So then the role of the holy companions we described in this reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah these four corners are bringing us to this reality. His holy companions, they have an eternal role in guiding us and bringing us into that reality. So we describe Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq is what? An asa. That throughout the Qur'an there's reference to an asa of Sayyidina Musa 
means that the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad is a dress from the holy companions. Because by means you carry the asa and if Prophet won't, he sends then the support of the great Siddiq Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq to give you support on your path. So then what we described before is that you're bought and you're brought into this life a slave. As soon as you're born they wrote a number on your head, they said a certificate is given, you're just a product with a product code. You're under a pharaonic system of all dunya, there's not a single place where these people don't govern and rule. We're born into a slavery of dunya because this is a shaitan's abode. And the only one who can free us from slavery is Sayyidina Muhammad that he must dispatch the great Siddiq. That he must dispatch the great Siddiq that by them as they took Sayyidina Bilal al-Habashi as an example for us that Allah has to, we say, لَحَذَانَ Allah. And ahtadi laun hadan Allah. In our Jummah, there's no guidance except for Allah's guidance. You can think you're guided all you want, but Allah says, There's no guidance if it's no guidance for me. Means you can ever take yourself out of this slavery? Say, I'm free from the matrix, I'm free from the grip of shaitan, I'm free from the, the dunya desires and its handcuff upon my feet. Never. Unless Allah gives the command that this servant will be guided. As a result from Atiullah, Atiya Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum, the command comes to Prophet the servant will be guided. Means what? Purchase them from shaitan, take them out of the means and the hands of shaitan. Wul abtar, they'll be cut from any way of shaitan to grab them. And who he sends of his holy companions to do that? And this was the role of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq. The great Siddiq comes to free you from the grip of shaitan that Prophet is bringing you into the heaven, the kingdom. Because guidance from Allah is what? Is the love of Prophet That's the only guidance. When Allah wants to guide His servant, He guides them to, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah So it's a call from, La ilaha illallah for you to come to Muhammadun Rasulullah So the great Siddiq has to be dispatched to you. Because when you understand this movement, you'll understand the perfection. Can you reach knowledge if you're captive to shaitan? No. Can you reach the power if you're captive to shaitan? No. Can you struggle against negativity if you're captive to shaitan? No. Means nothing else opens for the servant until they're free from shaitan. So the asa represents that. We described before people should put it in like a tasbih, all these different beads. Where Sayyidina Musa all the prophets in Qur'an were asking for something from Allah because the only risalat is Sayyidina Muhammad So Allah says, if he comes in your time you have to accept him, waqalu bala. And the Sayyidina Muhammad, Sayyidina Musa was in need and he was given the asa. And we describe, I mean symbolically the support of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq a great dragon from the Divinely Presence is sent to support, to free him from Pharaoh. 
Means that Allah is teaching from the highest level. You think you can do against Pharaoh? No. Sayyidina Musa needed a support because the great magicians wouldn't allow him to leave. So what Allah sent, send him asa. That's why he say everything is related to Prophet These are not stories of old, this story must relate to right now. And that was a power from paradise. So when you threw the asa down it's the reality of a dragon appears to destroy their magic and free Pharaoh from free Sayyidina Musa salam from the grip of Pharaoh. Means then we need Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq in our life that we struggle and we strive when we're entering into Islam, when we're doing things out of sincerity and the command has to come from Allah that I find sincerity in that servant and I want to guide them and Allah guides to the best of what He has. But the king doesn't come himself. He sends his beautiful khalifas, so I send you Siddiq al-Mutlaq, why? So that you be perfected in your actions and in your form to be truthful. How can you achieve anything without first being free from Pharaoh? So means there's a spiritual reason for the order of these khulafa, Khulafaya Rashideen al-Mahdi'een. Rashideen, they're here for guidance, they're not history people, they're not figures in history. The people of form they want to debate all day long form because their nature is to argue and separate, right? If I say one drop, one drop, one drop is how many drops? One, a drop. A drop goes into water, one drop, one drop, one drop is one drop, there's no separation. But if I say one cup, one cup, one cup means the world of form by its nature separates and divides. Malakut is light, the world of light is not interested in this separation, not interested in the lies of separation. It guides from the principles of light and reality that are eternal. That we need the great Siddiq to perfect the character, free us from Pharaoh. If his support doesn't come there's no way to free yourself. And even when he supported Sayyidina Musa salam, he went all the way running from the Pharaonic kingdom till he came to the water that separates dunya from malakut, symbolic. You have to leave the pharaonic land to enter the promised land. You separate past this water like barzakh and he needed the support of his asa, it wasn't a regular cane. Why Nabi Musa when he got to the water he made door didn't open, Allah just said, take your asa and touch the water. He took the asa, touched the water, still didn't open. Then Allah just said, that asa has a name, call it by its name. So what's the name Ya Rabbi, my people are going to kill me now. I brought them all the way over here, Pharaoh is on our coming after us. This is Khalil Rahman because who's the Rahma of Allah Sayyidina Muhammad and the Khalil, the beloved friend, he called the secret by a name. And the realm opened and Sayyidina Musa took his people into a higher level of consciousness. And Prophet I'm inspiring saying, do you think this is the past or what I have in store for my own nation? Every nation was in need of my intercession, what I have in store for my own nation? Can you jump from other things? Well, they're going to show you now, no. Because if you're not free from shaitan nothing opening for you. If you don't have the, the character and truthfulness of the great Siddiq nothing going to open for you. As soon as that character comes, the support comes, 
That's why you see all the ulama with Asa. They don't know this reality but they're inspired to keep the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad Why? It's a great support. There's an unseen dragon against shayateen that are trying to attack them in this dunya. There's a great support for their character and their truthfulness. So imagine now if you know that reality. Say, Ya Rabbi by the truth and the haqq of what you created in Sayyidina Muhammad grant me from that majestic reality. Ya Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq, Ya Khalil al-Rahman that support me as you supported Sayyidina Musa Send your madad in support and it opens for the servant their haqqaiqs and their realities. Now who comes? Because you've been freed from shaitan. Say, Umar Farooq Why? Because he comes to teach you truth from falsehood. On your lataif of your heart, say, Umar Farooq is what? Sir, you should have read the book. Qalb, Nasir, Sayyidina Umar Farooq comes to teach what? Prophet described, if there was a Prophet after me it would be Sayyidina Umar Because of truthfulness you have to stand for the truth within your reality. You can't let the reality of your falsehood to govern you. I'm not going to cover my head because they're not going to like me. I'm not going to have my beard, they're not going to like me. I'm not going to follow my deen because it's going to offend them. You're continuously trying to compromise. And what Sayyidina Umar did what? Call the azan. Are we on truth or are we on falsehood? Let's call the azan see anybody who's going to say anything. Right? Miss stand for truth, your inner truth where this entire dunya is suppressing your truth. Now they want to put a skirt on you, that's your truth. But can you achieve Sayyidina Omar Farooq truthfulness if you're still in the hands of shaitan? No. See now the order that's coming because each one has to dress you. Give you the asa, free you from shaitan, be truthful in your character and your in your actions. Wa kunu ma sadiqeen, keep the company of truthful servants whom their deeds and their actions are truthful, not just they say they're truthful, they do good and righteous things. They have ishq and muhabbat and softness in their character. As a result Allah turns you over to Sayyidina Umar Farooq and now teaches you your jihad because this is the station of struggle and fight. Qul ja'al haq, stand for the truth. How can the truth come to you if you allow falsehood within your heart and you live with falsehood and you say, it's okay, it's not okay if falsehood comes it plants itself like a bacteria, like a mold and you say, I'm going to live with black mold inside of me, you, you, in two days you, you'll have pneumonia. Means bring the truth of your reality, your blessings, your faith and we try in our lives the most to struggle with the truth, keep the truth, keep the Muhammadan love, keep the good character, keep your coordinates that I have to reach to paradise. Even if it's not popular, I have to satisfy what Allah wanted for me, what Prophet wanted for me, then become Umar of Farooq Right? We'll talk later but he represents the sunnah of the siwak. An immense key but forgotten. Why? Because nafaqi fi qalbi wa shirk khafi. You want to prevent nifaq fi qalbi wa shirka khafi is Sayyidina Umar Farooq. Every time you hold the siwak 
you're getting the support of Sayyidina Omar of Farooq and awliya teach that you will never see somebody who thinks they're a wali if they're not using a siwak, they're a liar. It's the key to the heart and to Ahlul Basira. Nifaqi fi qalbi wa shirki khafi. Why? Don't let me be a hypocrite, my nifaq. I say something, I do something different. My fight is myself, not other people. My fight is against myself, my character, my life, my existence to reach Allah's satisfaction. And shirka khafi is I don't judge people. You see people go around telling everybody else what to do but they don't like anyone telling them what to do. At this stage Omar Farooq tells you, don't ever talk to anyone, don't tell anyone anything until you completed everything on yourself. Why are you be guilty of uh, shirk? They think the shirk is you made partner with Allah. No, shirk khafi is the hidden shirk in which you set up a chair next to Allah's judgment and you have a little judgment chair and you judge Allah's creation. So don't open your mouth until you have resolved all your issues against yourself. And when the shaykh talks, he's talking to himself as a reminder to himself, never down to people. He's talking to himself, he's the first one in the audience asking his shaykhs to inspire, inspire me what I'm in need of and they're reminding that keep your siwa, keep your way. And then now they found physically that what? When you use the siwak, it safeguards your heart because it takes the energy from your mouth. All day long you're eating, drinking, everything you're trying to consume, it has an energy. It's fake and disgusting. If you just follow what they're putting at these meats now, they're all fake. Oh man, all that energy and the people in Junub that are making it and all this energy come into your mouth and say, what the siwak is a grounding stick. This piece of wood grounds all this negative energy out of the mouth. So that what? Safeguard your heart. Without the siwak physically the energy is attacking your heart. And Prophet brought in his majestic sunnah ground your mouth, it's like a small asa. You keep it, grounds your mouth but it's a great key from the support of Sayyidina Umar Farooq Why? Because you, you think with your mind, no I'll keep the big sunnahs and I'll leave this one. But it may be that little one that you didn't think of was the key to your heart. Because this is the way of inheriting risalat, prophecy. What did Prophet describe for his ulama? My ulama wa rasul anbiya Bani Israel. They are the inheritors of the Prophets of Bani Israel Means that they're going to make you in the character of risalat. That your character right, your energy right, your heart is correct so that you can deliver the message to people. The message of Sayyidina Muhammad like a darajat from Bani Israel's Prophets, not something small. So then Umar of Farooq, Sayyidina Umar of Farooq has to come for us and make it to be on truth, make it to be you have to have an internal jihad, you have to struggle against yourself. You have to stand up for what's right within yourself and put down what's wrong within yourself even to the detriment of yourself. Who comes after? Sayyidina Uthman, Sayyidina Uthman al-Qani, Jami al-Qur'an al-Majeed. Can you have knowledge of Qur'an? If you're a servant of shaitan, no that's why they upset with awliya because they say, you read we don't understand what you're talking about, we never read that in Qur'an. Well because you read Furqan, you didn't read Qur'an, you read Furqan. Qur'an has to read you, looks into your eyes, 
reveals. Looks into your eyes, says, nope, you get furqan. So means then what we talked about Sayyidina Uthman salam of uloom and knowledges and their companionship with Holy Qur'an and that this ilm and knowledges would be flowing to you, you can see the order now that you have to be away from shaitan, bought from shaitan and in the hands towards Rahman. You have to have the character of truthfulness and, and siddiq, wa kunu ma sadiqeen. That how are you going to be sadiqeen if you don't keep the company of truthful servants? You look at them and, and the company of them are like gangsters and hoodlums and say, no I'm on a path of spirituality. No you're not, you're not kunu ma sadiqeen, you're not keeping the company of pious people in the circles of paradise. You keep the company of unpious people hoping to reach what? Say, Uthman Jami' al-Qur'an and Majeed is coming and teaching that I'll be dispatched to you because at that point in your life once you have your siwak, your next most powerful weapon is your qalam, alam bil qalam. And that's why we said then the sunnah of the qalam is the reality of Sayyidina Uthman. Al-Qani Jami Al-Qur'an Al-Majeed, the rich, why Qani? Because this is the month of Kawthar, it's from the reality of the oceans of abundance. He carries the secrets of Holy Qur'an, Jami Al-Qur'an, the one whom compiled this reality for us and gave all of its tashkeel, all of its encrypted codings. So you'll be inspired what? to have a pen because your Islam was to fight yourself. You don't need to carry a weapon to beat people, only person you beat is yourself. And then you realize that the most powerful weapon I have is my pen. And we have all the talks on iqra and all the realities of a qalam. Qaf lam meem qul ya Muhammad because what is qalam in the heavens of these ancient realities? It's the conveyance of knowledges. It's by, by a means that when we carry the pen we're asking Allah that we want to carry knowledges because how could, you, how could you be somebody who wants knowledges and you don't have a pen? It's like fighting without a sword or without your pants on. You have to come ready with Allah When he sees the qalam means at that level they're carrying that reality that led me to be a custodian of knowledges. And everything they write changes their kitab. As they write alif, lam, mim, the reality changed on their kitab. The angels have to change. Why? Because now your reality is of a Muhammadan haqqaiq. Different set of angels have to come now to document your Muhammadan haqqaiqs, kiram al-katibin. Why? Because now you're honoured servant of Allah custodian of Muhammadan haqqaiqs. Could you have gotten that knowledge without being free from shaitan? Never. So he could not have visited you first and said, I'm going to give you knowledge. There's an order in which Allah eternally wanted, not a physical order that people want to argue about. This Qur'an can never reach to you if you're under the possession of shaitan. If you're not been bought this Qur'an knowledge is not coming to you, you read all you want. All the world's armies read the Qur'an, they're not getting anything from it. Its secret is locked, encrypted, not going to come to you unless you're fighting against falsehood, standing for truth. Once that uloom begins to flow within your heart and that your life was to carry a pen, then what Allah sends that He sent to the nation of Sayyidina Sulaiman because Sayyidina Sulaiman represents 
They'll have everything, Ya Rabbi. But these shaitans are coming and attacking the kingdom of shaitan and all his attacks and all his aggressions against my people and my nation. And what Allah sent as a sunnah from Sayyidina Muhammad is a ring. Means he sent the presence of Imam Ali in a ring as a symbol of power, a symbol of your allegiance to Sayyidina Muhammad Now you're worthy of his presence, you're not worthy at the beginning, you weren't going to get that power like that. Your character is not Siddiq and truthful, it's criminal and uh, dirty. You didn't receive from Sayyidina Umar Farooq that you fought yourself against bad character. You didn't receive the knowledges of Qur'an in which the Qur'an is dressing you. Only at that time when all these three conditions are sent, they actually send you a ring with the support of Imam Ali Salam. Meaning what? That now you have power over heaven and hell on this earth. That from Budal, Nujab, Nuqab, Awtad, Wal Akhyar, Malaika, with jinn under your command. Why? Because now, Inna ladina yubayyunuka, yubayyunullah. Yadullahi fawqaydim. Why? Because all three have signed off. Now you're worthy of the hand. The hand comes, the ring comes, the amanat, the trust and the power comes upon the servant. And they carry, they carry the mulk. That's why in our awrad we recite, Tabarak alladhi bi yadihi mulk. Surah Tabarak, Surah Al-Mulk, why? Because this is a description, Tabarak alladhi bi yadihi mulk is a description of those hands. The ones whom Imam Ali's hand is on them real. And they have a ring of authority, they have a dress of authority. And then what Surat Al Yaseen from the heart of Prophet describing of those hands? Subhanalladhi bi yadihi Allah magnificence and munificence gives glory be to those hands. The other was Tabarak Alladhi that blessed be those hands. But because the Surah Yaseen is the heart of Prophet describing, if Imam Ali's hand on your hand, because the ring is that sunnah, is that reality, we read it in the nasheed. At that time it's Subhanallah that Allah said, glory from my Subhan upon your hand because your hand is supported with power that these beings or under your command that Allah is dressing the servant for mulki wa malakut means that the world of light it controls the world of form. The world of form people they are completely empty like an empty cup, nothing. You shatter, hit them they'll crack in a second. The one who controls from the world of light has all power and dominion. Kulli shay, Allah describes their authority is all encompassing. All encompassing. Saka lakan, saka lakan, mafi samawati wa mafi wa jamia. That we have given to them whatever is in the heavens and on the earth and whatever between them. All go towards the reality of the hand. That's why it comes at the end, at the final stage. That everything has to be met because that hand of power comes with a lot of authority. Could it come first? No. How could you give you a hand of power when you have no good character? You're under the hand of shaitan, what the hand of power going to come to do with you? You don't know his power, you don't know his reality. It's exactly in an eternal order in which Allah wants. Each one came to perfect the character and support them. Why? Because they're like four around the Muhammadan heart. 
that we came, we gave you asa and we support you. We bought you from shaitan. Otherwise you think the things that you were doing and we were doing in life shaitan would leave you alone? He would hunt you down through your whole tariqah life. So I found you again. What Allah described from Surah Al-Kawthar, فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ وَنْحَرَ شَاهْنِكَ هُوَ أَبْتَارَ We cut them off from even seeing you. And then dressed with truthfulness, inner struggle, the desire and the zeal to fight against your bad character. Then carried in your life that, I want to be a knowledge, I want to be a servant of the knowledges and you carried a pen and wanted illuminations of the heart. And then a ring was given to you that carries a power and authority. It's not something small when say, Ya Allah, when Allah said, my hand is on their hand, the Prophet hand is on your hand, Ulul Am hand is on their hand and Allah says, my hand is upon all their hands. What that means when Allah's hand is on His hand? It can't be even understood because then you would be limiting Allah But what all awliya and ulama say means Allah's power and authority is on that hand. He's giving an authority, that authority doesn't come first. It comes after you've been checked through all these checks because when it comes it doesn't go. They don't make mistakes, it comes it stays. They have the ability to move the earth upside down because it's the hand of Allah It's not a physical hand, it's a hand that's supported. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us on these holy nights and the infinite rahmah of hajj and inshaAllah what coming in the opening years. That the difficulty opening upon this earth, inshaAllah Allah complete His ni'mat and blessings and barakah upon us and we have the love and the ishq of the Holy Companions and that their eternal reality to dress us and bless us. That we carry asa with that support, that we carry our siwak with that support, that we carry our qalam with that support and that we carry our ring with that support. And that the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad be upon us, upon our family and our communities. And that the support of awliyaullah fi samahi wa fil ard to be upon us, our families and our communities. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon. Wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.